Beneath the glaring lights, it takes a special gift to put people at ease. All right, come on back. I don't want that kind of look. Once again, the ball's in Mark Haskett's court at Good. Western Carolina. So you want her doing a backhand? Yeah. Okay. Like, I'm scared to go to the dentist office. There's people who are absolutely scared to death to sit in this chair and have a camera aimed at them. Good. Yeah, I like it. Mark's been director of photography and videography services for almost 32 years. Keep your eyes open. Oh, shoot. And so the challenge is, is to capture those special moments. Good. I enjoy shooting athletics. His portfolio includes a who's who of Western. Mark's photographs have appeared in newspapers nationwide as well as university publications and social media. That's against Appalachian State. This one captures the strength of legendary football coach Bob Waters, who battled ALS. I don't think he ever thought of himself as an underdog. Late Chancellor David Belcher was one of his favorite subjects. He died of brain cancer earlier this year. He was, was dearly loved by everyone. Mark has also been a constant through Catamount Conquests. That was the win over Clemson. I rushed out on the field as the players did to get that, and sometimes you have to do that to be able to get the photo. Mark has a knack for being in the right place at the right time. In 2002, he was in position for a somber moment on campus one year after 9-11. Sometimes a photo can say something that you can't put in words. When you ask people how they're doing, they go, oh, we're living the dream. Well, when I say that, I mean it. But his days on the dream job are numbered. Haskett's retiring at the end of January. Believe it or not, I came to Western as a math major. In a way, he sort of fell into photography. In 1987, Mark graduated on Friday and was offered a job the next Monday. Thing is, he was in the hospital. Mark, are you still interested in the job as university photographer at Western Carolina? And I said, yes, as soon as I can pass this kidney stone. Mark's documented Western Carolina history ever since. His body of work features students before they went on to bigger things, like football player Brad Hoover, who went on to become a Carolina Panther. This is Matt Stilwell, who now is a country musician, uh, lives in Nashville. Okay, he's down at the statue, so we can go on down. So you excited? Yes. His craft has given thousands of people mementos of a special place and time. Turn this way a little bit. And act like you're getting ready to put the cap on the cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Graduating student Coleman Leppard asked Mark to take a few photos by the cat statue. Good, I got one without a car going by. Cool. All right, thanks a lot. All that experience now prepares him for the photo opportunity of a lifetime. I think so. In retirement, he'll focus on family, including grandson Bryant. He's a little camera shy, kind of. I, I don't know where that comes from, but he's a little camera shy. Uh, and so I have to kind of capture him uh, when I can. Good. After snapping some 750,000 photographs at Western over the years, Mark's about a month away from his final flicker. Yeah, I like it. Whoa. And it seems impossible to picture Western Carolina University without him. In Cullowee, John Lee, News 13.